In Blender, you have three ways to shade an object in the viewport. The Shade Flat, Shade Smooth, and Auto Smooth. You can get those three options from the right mouse button or from the Object tab while in Object Mode, and you can see them right here. Now, if you're confused about those three, we will explain them in basic words. The Shade Flat option is the default one which let you see each face with its borders or lines clear in the viewport. And it's already set to the cube. If we change the cube shading to Auto Smooth, the result stays the same, clear visible lines. However, with the shade smooth, the lines between faces start fading and it no longer looks like a cube anymore. And same thing will happen if we did this to a cylinder. Auto Smooth is fine. Shade Smooth is whacked. The sphere, on the other hand, is fine with the shade smooth or auto smooth. They both make it look like a smooth ball, so why is that? You see, if we select all objects and hit tab for edit mode, then from this icon near the overlays, we can show the face normal, which is what Blender calculates in the shade smooth process, and the reason for good or bad shading is the angle. See, the auto smooth will give the option to set an angle. By default, it's set to 30 degrees, so if there are two faces near each other with an angle smaller than 30, it will smooth the line between them. And if we increase the angle on the cube to 90, which is the one between the top and side faces, it will give you this bad result where you can't anymore see the edges. Now in the case of a cylinder, where we have the angle between those two faces is 90 while the angle between the side faces alone is small, the auto smooth option on a default 30 degrees will go fine to smooth the sides while keeping the top and bottom edges sharp. So in a few words, flat shading will keep all edges sharp. Smooth shading will fade all edges, and auto smooth will give the option to set an angle to help manage shapes with flat and sharp edges, and all that is based on face normal. In the case of the ball, the angle between the faces is already small, and since we don't have sharp edges like a flat cut in it, both the auto smooth and shade smooth will go fine on it, and you can see the range while playing with the angle value from 0 to 90, from flat to smooth shading all along the auto smooth values. Now in a case of a shape like this, where you have faces that need to be smoothed out and others need to be kept flat, the auto smooth option might not work because there's something weird near the corners and changing the angle didn't do much to help. The smooth shading is also still whack. So how to fix this? Well, amazingly, there's this modifier called weighted normal and adding it alone will fix the shading issue for you. Now this works based on the face area. The big areas will get big weights with flat shading and vice versa. Also, in some cases, with the same method, and after adding the weighted normal modifier, things might still look weird, so try to add a bevel modifier before the weight normal, a quick fix for bad topologists like us. And that's it. Remember to like and subscribe, because my cat demands that, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye. <coughs> Oh, e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e